Welcome to our video tutorial series on the basic concepts of Forex trading. Our first tutorial in this series will be addressing the topic of margins and margin requirement calculations. We will be going through what is a margin, the different factors affecting margin requirement calculations, how to calculate the margin requirement for each trade position that you open, and also go over our margin call policy and how it works. To begin with, what is margin? Margin is the amount of equity which a trader contributes for each trade position that he or she opens on his trading account. It is not any additional fee or cost which is charged, but is just an amount of your own deposit which is set aside when you open a trade. You would have noticed on your MT4 platforms that when you do not have any open trades on your account, your account balance will always be equal to the equity, which would be equal to the margin. We at Excel Markets provide the entire initial deposit amount as available margin to use for your margin requirement calculations. As you can see over here, once you log into your account, and when you do not have any open trade positions, the account balance is equal to the equity, which is equal to the free margin. Now getting down to calculating the margin requirement, in order to calculate the margin for any open trade or trade position that you have on your account, the following general formula is used. Margin requirement is equal to contract size times the lot size traded, that is the size for the trade position which you have opened, times the price, that is the open price at which the trade has been opened, the product of all that divided by the leverage of your account. Let's consider the example on the platform itself. Now as you can see, I currently do not have any open trades on this account and so the account balance is equal to the equity, is equal to the margin which is 100,000 US dollars. Now consider that I open a trade position of one standard lot at the market price for the Aussie dollar. The order has been opened at the price of 0.91629. As you would notice, the balance still remains 100,000, which was the initial deposit. However, the equity and margin have changed. Now this account has a leverage of 1 is to 400. So we will get down to putting these values into our margin requirement formula to calculate if the value tallies with the margin that we see over here for this trade position that we have open. So let's get down to calculating the margin requirement. The formula is contract size times the lot size traded times the open price, the product divided by the leverage. In this example, the contract size is 100,000, which remains constant for all currencies. The lot size traded is 1, which is one standard lot. And the open price for the trade is 0.91629. The product of all these three divided by 400, which is the leverage of this account. This comes out to be 229.0725, which is the same as the margin that you see over here. We shall now discuss the different factors which affect the margin requirement calculations. Margin requirement varies depending upon the following two factors. A. The lot size traded and B. The leverage for your account. We shall discuss each one of these one by one. Beginning with the lot size, margin requirement is directly proportional to the lot size traded. Larger the lot size, that is, bigger the trade position which you open, higher the margin requirement. The second factor affecting the margin requirement is leverage. Margin is inversely proportional to the leverage of the account. So higher the leverage, lower will be the margin requirement. It is also important to note that higher leverage also means higher risk. Let's consider the example for margin calculations to see how these two factors affect the calculations for margin requirements. We consider case 1 in which we open a one standard lot position 
for euro dollar at a price of 1.32500. We've chosen the leverage of our account as 100 is to 1. Here, the contract size is again 100,000, lot size is 1, and leverage 100. Putting these values in the formula for margin calculations, which we just discussed, we get margin comes out to be 100,000 times 1 times the price, which is 1.32500. The product of that over 100, which comes out to be 1325 US dollars. Now let's consider case 2. If we now increase the lot size from 1 standard lot to 10 standard lots. So we have increased the size of our trade position 10 times while keeping the leverage same as 100 is to 1. So now contract size remains 100,000, lot size is 10 which is 10 times our initial lot size for the case 1 and leverage is constant at 100 is to 1. Using the same formula we get that margin comes up to be 13250 US dollars which is 10 times the margin requirement as in case 1. Hence by increasing the size of your trade position you have increased the margin requirement. Therefore margin is directly proportional to the lot size traded. Larger the trade size higher would be the margin requirement. Now if we keep the lot size 1 the same as was in case 1 but increase the leverage from 100 is to 1 to 400. So our trade position is the same of one standard lot, but the leverage has been increased four times to 400 is to 1. So using the formula for margin calculations, we get that margin is equal to 100,000 times 1 times the price, that is the open price of the order, the product of that divided by 400 which is the leverage in this case. The value comes out to be 331.25 US dollars, which is one fourth the margin requirement as was in case one. So you can see by increasing the leverage of your account, you have reduced the margin requirement needed for your trade position. Therefore, margin requirement is inversely proportional to the leverage chosen. We will be covering about the margin call policy in the next part of this video tutorial. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.